everyone, this is Jennifer Stay and Rose from Coloring Bliss and this is video two of a two-part video series about my newest and kind of unusual art tool, a foldable electric wheelchair by Forsmic. Now I know that this is a little unusual for my YouTube channel and that's why I wanted to do this quick introduction. So I have a question for you because this is my reason for mobility aid. How many times have you turned down a really awesome activity like going to the zoo with your family or going out to a walk along a neighborhood lake or going to a school activity because you didn't have the energy to spend on such an activity? How many times have you turned that down? I cannot count the number of times I've turned those types of activities down because of my lack of energy, because of my chronic illness. I need a mobility aid to make it so that I can get back into life. And I want to expand our view of the kinds of people who need mobility aids and make it okay for people like me to also use wheelchairs. I want everyone to get over this stigma that wheelchairs or mobility aids in general are just for two groups of people. People who have absolutely no mobility or people who are really aged. This is going to open up so many opportunities for me and it can do the same for you. And we need to start opening our eyes to the way that mobility aids like this can help more people than what we originally think they can. They make it so that I am not a burden on my family anymore. I can get out and participate. I don't have to have someone push me around and be a burden on my caregiver. My husband doesn't have to push the wheelchair. All he needs to do is get it out of the trunk and then I am independent and I can participate and go to the zoo again. I can go for a walk with my husband. I want you to see what my journey has been like as I've been getting used to this brand new foldable wheelchair. It's been amazing. I've had so many great experiences already with this chair. If you've seen part one, you've already seen me zooming around my neighborhood using the chair. I also got to use it in Oregon in a recent vacation. It was awesome. And that's what this video is all about. Now, Forsmec is a really cool company. I reached out to them recently and got such a positive response from them. I have so much gratitude that they decided to partner up with me and send me a chair so that I could do this collaboration with them. I think this is an awesome partnership and they have also offered an awesome deal for you. And I'm going to talk more about that at the end of this video. So make sure you tune in for that because they are being so generous to you as well. So hang into the end of the video for that content. Now I'm going to roll some footage that I'm going to show the unboxing of the chair and all about my recent experience taking it to Oregon for a vacation that includes how it worked taking it on an airplane, all of this amazing information about foldable electric wheelchairs. It was literally a miracle the things I got to do and participate in and I cannot wait to share this with you. This chair is, I think, going to change my life and open up horizons that I haven't had available to me in a long time. So Rose and I are going to roll some footage for you and then we're going to meet you at the end to share that opportunity with you that Forsmec is providing for all of you. So let's get this footage going. Have you ever gotten a box from FedEx that could potentially change your life? Well, I think I just did. See how this goes.
<laughs> We're home and we are very glad to be back with our cute little furry creatures here. <laughs> we had such a good trip and it went really good. We did have one little problem with the chair, but other than that, it was fantastic. And it was such a blessing to us to have it. It's such a blessing to me. I was able to do so much on this trip. We had so much fun. And oh my goodness, it was just a miracle. I especially loved the chair in the airport, being able to zoom around behind you guys. And the other time I loved it was when we were at the um, lighthouse. Oh, yeah. That was awesome, being able to zoom around and see everything. and go where I wanted to go and not be in your way so you could do all your photography and I could see what I wanted to see and not get tired. That was amazing. Well, I tell you, as a caretaker, it made it a lot better for me oh, as yeah? well. Oh yeah, I mean, typically, you know, when we're walking, fortunately, Jen isn't, you know, bound to a wheelchair. Uh, very fortunate that way. So she's able to walk around, but she's very slow. <laughs> That's okay, we understand. Yeah. And me and the boys have just had to learn to just walk really slow, but our natural pace is really fast. Yeah, you guys are fast. <laughs> and so it's always, uh, it's always so nice when we can walk at the speed we want to walk, and you're right there with us. Yeah, it's fast enough that walking really fast, my husband can't keep up with me, which is really cool. But yeah, that is I'm really always fun. looking back, like worried we've left you behind, and oh, you're right there. Yeah, that so. was really fun. Yeah, we visited two lighthouses and I got to use the wheelchair at both of those lighthouses because they were really nice paved paths. And it was so fun to just zoom along. And then the other place was at Tillamook Creamery. We got to use the, um, the wheelchair there and that was so much fun. I had my little niece with me and she sat on my lap the whole time because she was like <laughs> in love with the chair. She kept asking to get back on my lap and she'd wrap up in her blankie with me and oh, she loved that. And that was just a highlight for me to get to have her affection. And she just wanted to see everything. And man, the maneuverability, um, I will put some um, footage right now of me coming out of the elevator at the Tillamook Creamery and oh, it's so great how you can turn around so easy in the chair even in an elevator and like Steve was uh, we were talking about here in the house he was playing with the chair here in our kitchen and how great it works um, yeah, it's great in our kitchen he even this big chair this is the biggest model they have and it turns around in our tiny little kitchen around our island it does so great and this is the bigger of the models so if you were to choose one of the smaller models that are made mainly for being indoors and like in offices and in homes that one would be even yep. better for that situation. So I've been really impressed with the maneuverability. I only had one issue with maneuverability and it was my fault because I was, you know, legitimately pushing the chair to see if it could handle a very steep hill. I was trying to keep up with the group. We were headed down to see a lighthouse and the hill was... It was really I, I know steep. lie. It was probably this steep. <laughs> well, I mean, I was walking right behind you with yeah. my hands on it because it was steep. And yeah. We were like, how's this going to handle it? Because I knew it was going to be an issue. <laughs> I shouldn't have, I would never have done it alone. There was no way. But I had like four big men around me and I knew they could literally lift it and get me out of there if I needed to. And, and yeah, it started to skid to the side. And, and yeah, that was the only time that I fell out of control of the chair and I would never have done that alone. The other time that it was so fantastic was we wanted to stop and get some food and I was able to get around the tables and then just pull right up to the table and we just moved a chair out of the way and I was able to park right there and sit right at the table, which is different from my last electric wheelchair, which was set, it set really high and I can't sit to a table. <laughs> it's perfect, I love this. It's so great. But this one I can, and that has been just like a change. It's been so oh, great. so nice. Yeah, there was a, there was one that we went into a restaurant that had steps, a couple steps leading up into it. Um, again, no big deal because she was able to stand up, walk in. I just folded up the chair really quick, picked it up, put it in, unfolded it, 
and she was able to sit back down, drive right up to the table. Yeah, so it was so great. And because the handles of the chair also swing up and out of the way, in that tiny little restaurant he was talking about, I was able to tuck really close into the table. So I was out of the way. People could still walk behind me. I didn't feel intrusive in that restaurant at all. And I could sit with everybody in and my chair was the most comfortable one because it was cushioned. Everybody else was on wooden chairs. Yep. But it's just been such a blessing. So we were in a place called Depot Bay, right? Is that yep. where we were? And um, we got the chair out. It was working awesome. We were down along the main strip of Depot Bay, and I was in a gift shop, and I was just, you know, going along my way looking for some souvenirs and all of a sudden the controller just stopped working didn't do anything weird it just stopped working and so I gave it a second turned it back on it worked again for a minute and then it just cut out and didn't work ever again luckily Steve was there so um, I wasn't too worried just baffled by it not working and um, one of the things I love about this chair and I checked on it before um, um, you know, signing up to have a chair like this was I wanted to make sure that if anything ever happened to the electric mechanism, there would be a backup. So we're going to roll some footage right now of how you use this chair in its manual functions. Okay, so one of the great things about this chair is um, we can put it on manual. So I just turned off the controller and Steve is back there. He's flipping the switches on the bottom and he is going to be my caregiver right there on the handle. All right. And push it for me. How does it feel, Steve? It's great. So we're gonna go over some bumps here right in front of us and he can tell you his experience. Okay, let's see. Pushing on corners and over bumps. Yeah, really easy. <laughs> How about for you? Well, I don't like not being in control. Well, we um, better get you back in control then. Yeah, I prefer being in control. <laughs> okay. So the way we do that is with the switches down there. You want to show them? Yep. So basically back here. Sorry, I got my jacket and stuff in the way. Let me switch this around. Go down. Same with that one. Go down. We're ready to go. Jennifer turns it on. And ta-da! Back in control. So it, you know, of course, once it was not functioning anymore as an electric wheelchair, me as the person in the wheelchair, all of a sudden I had lost my um, ability to run around independently and um, now I was dependent on Steve to push me around again. And all of a sudden I remembered why I love this chair and why I love the independence of an electric wheelchair that I could take with us on vacation. And so we took advantage of their 24 hour customer care. Um, Steve got on the phone with them as soon as we got back to our Airbnb. I called in, got a hold of somebody right away. Um, Mark is his name there, that was super helpful. He uh, of course was very apologetic. It sounds like it's not a common issue by any means. It's just our controller went bad. And what really is important to us is how does the company take care of you when something does go wrong? Especially well, when we're away from home. Right. You know, we were like, what do we do now? We have to get it home. We're going to be on an airplane and we have this chair and what do we do next? Unfortunately, it happened. You know, I called in on a Friday night. We had, we had had it the whole week, you know, it had been working great, and then it just happened that, that day it goes out, and so I called in. They were willing to overnight us apart to try to get it to us before we had to go back to the airport the next day, but unfortunately, where we were at, there wasn't any um, mm -hmm. early morning, next day delivery service. We were in a teeny tiny little town on the coast, and it just didn't work out. So... We said, well, that's okay. At least we have this manual mode and yep. we can push Jen around. And We talked to the airline. Um, they had recommendations for us. And so we'll talk about that in a minute, how it worked out in the airport, both with the electrical, because we had on the way to Oregon, um, we had the electric version. And then on the way home, we were working with the manual version and both worked out great, even with 
the broken version of the chair, it still worked out fantastic. So now that we're home, the part did arrive. They followed through with us on that. They even called to make sure we got it and we just got it plugged in and we're gonna take it for a test ride here in just a minute and make sure everything's working great. But so far, everything is perfect. So I can't wait to get back on the road. And yeah, it was easy to replace. Yeah. A little fiddly because, you know, it's small parts in tight spaces, but uh, easy as far as that type of thing goes. Basically just unplug a few things and take out a few screws, put the other one back in, plug them back in, screw them back on, and you're good to go. It is 60 pounds. This is the largest version that they have, so 60 pounds. It is a little heavy. It's a, And there really isn't a great place to grab onto it. I mean, there's lots of places to grab onto it, but there isn't a... Uh, I wish what they had was like handles that were specifically meant that were in a nice spot for lifting it and getting good balance be it, to be able to put it in and out of a truck. Having said that, it's not like we had any problems putting it in and out of a truck, especially when I grabbed my son. Yeah. My son and Jen were able I was, to... Yeah, with my son's help, I was able to get it in and out with him when he wasn't around without any problems. So. And, we, and we had a small compact car fit great really in the small. trunk, no problem at all, still room for other bags, so super happy with that. Um, the other thing that I wish uh, was a little different, the batteries, when you try to get those in and out, the clips where you're supposed to push just, uh, and I'm sure over time it's going to loosen up and be a little easier, they're just a little bit stiff, especially in the beginning, so they were kind of hard to get out, but again, not that big of a deal, you can get them out and I'm sure over time it'll loosen up. Everything with the airplane worked really great. Everybody treated us, us with a lot of respect. It was just really smooth. It was, you know, a little intense going through TSA security. The Portland, Oregon airport, they were, holy cow, they were intense. <laughs> in Portland, they thought I was smuggling stuff in every crevice of this chair. <laughs> but that's okay, they did their job and that's fine. I let them do their job and I just stayed out of the way. Everybody was so helpful with the chair and you get to load onto the airplane first when you have a wheelchair with you. So it's really great. Awesome. Everybody was just like, amazed by this chair because they're used to dealing with like a 1,000 pound wheelchair. They were just like, wow, that's a wheelchair? They were just so impressed and they kept asking, it's only 60 pounds? When we handed the chair over to the airline, what we ended up doing was actually driving the chair all the way down the tunnel to the actual door of the air airplane was awesome and then what we had to do is take the batteries out and put the batteries into the carry-on because that's the way the airplane the airline wanted us to handle the batteries and then we would turn the chair over to the airline and they put it into the storage underneath the airplane for us like they would with fantastic. a stroller sure. but we wanted to make sure that the chair was folded up securely um, so that they could handle it well and we wouldn't worry about them bumping things around so we removed the controller and put that into our carry-on as well and then we came the up joystick. with the, yeah, the joystick and then we came up with a great idea um, which was <laughs> the seat belt that they provided for me it worked out perfect it was really easy just wrapped it around buckled it in yeah. and then it stayed closed and yeah, no problems with the batteries whatsoever being with the MI on they're sealed yep. they're dry yeah. the <laughs> other the other thing the batteries are pretty long yeah um, I was gonna long. try to pull it out here and be yeah <clears throat> My knee so this is where the this is where it gets a little tricky trying to get this battery out it's finding the tab I don't think they can see this part uh, okay here's the battery as you can see it's really long and so we had to make sure that it would fit into our carry-on. So what we ended up doing was getting some bubble wrap, wrapping this. We had to put them in diagonally into the carry-on and then it fit. The other thing I was going to say that I loved about flying and getting to the airport is the cushion has to come off. Well, it doesn't have to. You can fold it up with the cushion on, but it folds flatter and nicer, more compact if you take it off. So I was able to take the cushion off and sit on it in my airline chair yeah so it was <laughs> made it a lot more cushy. comfortable <laughs> in salt lake airport when we had the electric um working was amazing i could keep up with the boys uh, they had the suitcases and i had 
one carry on in my lap and then I was just zooming around behind <laughs> them in the electric wheelchair. It was fantastic. I could get around easy. I did not get tired. The travel day was amazing. When we got to Portland, um, of course Portland's a bigger airport than Salt Lake Airport and we were really trying to find where our rental car was and then we ended up having to take a shuttle bus from the airport to go get our rental car. And when we got to the shuttle bus, there, it was not handicap accessible um, shuttle bus, which I was a little surprised by that. We could just slide the chair, just like it was a piece of luggage, right up on the, under the luggage rack, and it fit perfectly, and I was able to walk up onto the bus, thankfully. I mean, that shuttle bus should have been wheelchair accessible. That was kind of bad on them. So I already mentioned how much I like that the chair is down low at a normal chair position versus my other wheelchair which was up high. And one of the reasons I love it is I feel safer. I'm My center of gravity, I guess, is down low. And where I really notice it is when I go over bumps. Like, you know in the airport how that tunnel has those big bumps to the next section of the right. tunnel? That's kind of scary when you're in a wheelchair to go over those kinds of big drops. And in this chair, it doesn't feel nearly as scary. And I, I went over quite a few big bumps like that during the trip and didn't feel nearly as out of control or tippy in this chair. Of course, this chair is one of their top of the line chairs with the big wheel on the back. Um, we'll shoot some footage right now for you of me zooming around our neighborhood and you can see me going over some bumps and stuff right now. Um, but you can see um, how stable I look in the chair, even going over big bumps, and that means a lot to me. It did come with um, a seat belt, which I can use if I ever feel like I need it, and so I really appreciate that. And it's comfortable, which is important because I'm going to be sitting in it sometimes for, you know, a couple hours at a time if we're out touring like at a zoo or in a museum or something. It needs to be comfortable so that I can be patient and enjoy the area and think about the beautiful places that we're at. Okay, welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed that footage as much as I enjoyed filming it. It was such an amazing experience, and I am so excited to get back out in life now and keep enjoying that Force Mech chair. It's working so great, and I'm so grateful to Force Mech for making an offer available to you guys. They have made available a $200 discount to all of you. Now, we have details and links and all kinds of great information for you in the video description. I want to encourage you to think of you, to think of someone you know that may benefit from a mobility aid like this foldable electric wheelchair. There are so many people who can use a mobility aid like this. So follow those links. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've got more content coming and I think we're going to see this wheelchair a lot. So hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye bye everybody.